Razor Rob's Rant, episode 11, part one. It's got to be a two-parter, man, because I'm having a hard time loading this shit. You know, that, like I said, I live out in the country, and this is going to be a long subject because, like I said in the last episode, it's about the NPC, only the best go pro. There are other pros in other organizations, and they do get paid. But how much do they get paid? Okay, there are other pro organizations, but the MPC is definitely the largest bodybuilding organization on the pl face of the earth. People have no clue. You got to remember every single city there is in the United States just about has a local show and usually they're MPC sanctioned shows. So do the math. That is a hell of a lot of people. Okay. I couldn't even begin to estimate how many people are in the NPC, how many athletes, yes, they are athletes, even though people to this day still think that bodybuilding isn't a sport. A real, that's not a real sport. That's what I hear all the time. I want to just fucking throw a dumbbell at them. <laughs> oh, the same thing was said about MMA a long time ago, you know, when I was taking karate when I was a little kid and all the martial arts I did. That, who knew? I mean, who knew it was going to, you know, bloom in the, in the UFC? I guess it takes people like, you know, the Dana Whites and the Frittatas and Frittatas or whatever their name is. Uh, people like that with visionaries to make that sport grow like that. I mean, it's incredible. There's a shout out to Mighty Mike Quinn. Guy's recovering from an injury he got in uh, Hurricane Irma. You know, take care, man. That, that was a fucking horrible hurricane. Horrible, horrible. That's the only good thing about me here in California right now was that I didn't have to go through that shit. Anyway, take care, buddy. Um, I got a funny story, and you know, I'm not going to talk. Today's story day. It's Friday, TJIF. Time for a story. I'll talk about training later. I don't have that much time because I have to go train. Anyway, Jeffrey and Mindy Kipple. Hi. How do I know them? They are part of another organization that I'm not, I'm not going to. No. <laughs> and I met them. I had a client in Fitness America pageant, and Jeff was a judge, and Mindy was, I think she was a photographer, I don't remember, but I met this young couple, very super nice, I knew they weren't from Cali, and I, they weren't even from America, Canadian couple, you know, outgoing, articulate, smart, bright-eyed, very happy people, I, I just gravitated towards, I, oh, these people are cool and nice, wow, you know. And I told them I had, a, I think, I, I don't know if I was competing. It was a long time ago, back in the mid-90s, okay? I'm not going to say the date because the date would give away the story and the person's name. And uh, right now, the person that I'm talking about in the story's brother and me aren't getting along very well. So I'm just going to say that it was a show that I've done a few times, Muscle Mania, Super Body. Now they call it Super Body. Um, it's a fucking huge show. It's a big show. It's a great show. It's put on different than the MPC, more theatrical, more lighting, more, more glamour. I mean, just blah. Okay. It's like, bam. Okay. I have thousands, thousands, plural pictures of all kinds of athletes competing in the muscle mania. And the pictures are so fantastic. Okay. Like a freaking idiot I am, naive and stupid I am, I had him dis on display at the 99 USA, that a picture I showed you. And Mannion did not like that at all. And Lindsay was like, you idiot. I, I, I forgot that they were on there. You know, there's MPC pictures, but right in the middle, there was Fitness America pageant. I didn't have any muscle mania. They would have killed me, but I had Fitness America pageant pictures. I forgot that they figure and they have figure and fitness there. I'm like, oh, that's right. Anyway. Needless to say that that didn't go over very well with them. So I looked like an idiot and I didn't know, you know, I was naive. Just like people don't know the sport. I'm new. I'm a young guy. I'm, you know, somebody's got to tell me these things. So anyways, at the Fitness America pageant, after it was over, I told Jeff, me and my wife, my first wife, you know, she go, Hey, let's show you around LA, man. We'll take you for a drive. We'll go to Venice and this and that. And, you know, we gave him the Cali, the friendly Cali person tour of the United States and California and, you know, Venice. The, the show was in Santa Monica, so we went Venice, you know, drove around. 
and Gold's Venice and the Firehouse and, you know, Kookaroos and shit. And we're walking up and down. I mean, we'll stop into a Max Muscle. Like, hey, this is a new Max Muscle. I haven't seen this Max Muscle. Let's go check it out. And we went in there. So we're talking to the guy. And he's like, oh, so who went on the show? So we told him, he's like, isn't that a natural drug tested show? And Jeffrey Mendio, well, Jeff's a judge. Yeah. He's like, that guy ain't natural. And the look on Jeff and Mindy's face, it dropped like, you're kidding me. He goes, but I just judged that show. And me and my wife look at each other and we're like, the cat is out of the bag. Stay tuned for part two.